Our team coverage begins with 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner with that battle and more on those surprise moves made by the governor today. Jim. Yeah, Carolyn, it's a lot of back and forth up in Lansing. You have a Democratic governor. The Republicans control the legislature. They did not extend the emergency declaration that expired today. They say they will sue the governor. That has not happened yet. So Governor Whitmer is calling the shots with executive orders. And I want to be clear. The stay home, stay safe order remains in effect until May 15th. It will not be business as usual in Michigan for some time. No sessions of the House or Senate today. Yesterday, Republicans asking for a voice in reopening. What can the governor accomplish alone that she can't do together with the leadership of the House and the Senate? The entire framework of our system of government was built on the idea of separation of powers. Today, a statement from Senate Republicans. The legislature did not extend the emergency declaration, and we believe the governor is now acting beyond her authority in issuing a new declaration and orders. By her actions, the governor has already demonstrated that she intends to enforce her orders. I'll not be making decisions based on an arbitrary timeline or political or legal pressure. I'm not here to play games. The Republican-led legislature voted to open on May 16th with social protocols, dine-in restaurants, bars, casinos, and other businesses. But late last night, the governor signed a new executive order to keep those businesses closed until May 28th. But the governor is allowing construction to resume in a week. And to the surprise of many, announcing today real estate sales can resume May the 7th. Plus, no non-emergency dentistry yet, but some medical procedures can resume. But as for oncology surgeries, as for knee surgeries, those are things that should be scheduled and, and we're encouraging people to get that done. And the governor had harsh words for those protesters up in Lansing yesterday and for President Trump tweeting support for them. That part of the story next hour at six. Live downtown, Jim Kurtz, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, thank you much. We'll see you at six.